Hey, this is Lisa with AskLisaMentor.com. I hope you're having a great day today. Um, one of the things that one of my team members asked me um, was how I actually create images. So I kind of wanted to share with you today. I create all my images on Canva.com. And so you just go to Canva.com. It's right there. And you can, you know, sign in with Facebook, which is what I do. I just makes it really, really simple and easy. And so I'm just going to create a Facebook post, okay? And just show you how quickly and easy it can be um, for free. And we, who, I mean, who does not love our favorite four-letter word? Okay, so you actually have different layouts that you can use, um, you know, if you want to. I tend to want to go the more explorative and creative route, and I like to create my own images so here you know when you click elements you'll see free photos grids frames illustrations uh, charts icons I love Canva so let's say I want to create an image today um, let's see um, with a we'll just choose a woman okay and so you see all these different images here and you see they say all say free and some of them, you know, are upgrades and they're a dollar. You don't have to choose those. And we're going to go back over here to free photos and see what we can find. And uh, let's see. Okay, so we'll just pick this one. All right. And so you just kind of spread it out, you know, where it can fit the actual screen. So we can put this together here. Okay. I don't know why that's doing it. I guess I clicked twice. Okay, that's what happened. Sorry. Okay. Thought there was a little glitch. And so you can position your fold your photo however you like. And I'm just gonna put it right here. And then I actually want to add a little bit of text. Um, and so you can kind of you know move it around. You know, here's the lines. You see the lines where you can kind of, you know, make sure it's centered. I really love the cam. It's one of my favorites to create, you know, images. Um, and so we'll just create text. And I'll just say create text. Okay. So this is just a sample. Okay. So you can, you know, type out what you want. Click over here. You can, you know, choose different fonts. You can actually you know you know choose different sizes things like that you can choose colors you can make it blue uh, you can do black you can do white so I like white with this particular background um, and then you can go back over here to elements um, click over here on the side and then you can actually do shapes so I'll show you a couple of little fun things that you can actually do. And so if you want to kind of, you know, add a little dimension to it, you just pull it down, center it, see the cross right there? Then you just change the color over here to whatever color you want. And so we'll do white. And I know you're probably saying, why is she doing white on white? Well, over here you can actually, on this little grid here, you can actually make it transparent. Okay, as transparent as you want to be to add a little dimension, you can push it back. All right, so now I've got this little text here. And no, I decided I don't want it to be white, so I'm going to change the color. Um, let's do blue, but I want a different variation of blue. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Uh, maybe make it a dark blue. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, and then actually you can go back over here to elements and if you want to put a line in it you can do that so um, here's a nice little line I'm gonna put a line here uh oh I moved my actual so there we'll put a line there then if I say you know I wanted to put maybe my website or whatever I could put that right there 
So it's just a fun way of, you know, creating your own images. So I'll put ask Lisa Mentor dot com. Ask Lisa Mason. I just changed everything up. Ask Lisa Mason dot com is where you can go if you want more information about me. And so, um, yeah, so there's an image. OK. All right. Um, and then you can also add different things if you want to use different um, formats. So you can actually use something like that if you wanted to. I seldom use that because I kind of go the more creative route. Um, so I don't really use those, but you can definitely delete that element and it will disappear and delete that one too and put it in the trash. See the garbage can over there. Click over here, go back over to elements. And you've got other things that you can use besides that. You've got some icons. So let's say I wanted to add an icon. This picture is not going to be looking like much of nothing. But let's say I wanted to add a little icon. Um, and I want people to click on a certain thing. Okay, so you got this right here. So this image is going to be a hot mess. But, you know, it's for illustrative purposes only. And be creative and do your own thing. Okay, and so I actually want to use the color I had before. Okay, so I'm saying, hey, click here. But, you know, I wouldn't do that. But, you know, uh, on this image, I wouldn't do that. But, you know, I just wanted to kind of share with you and show you the different things that you can do with Canva. A lot of people are really afraid of it. If you want a solid background, you've got some solids here. See? And you got some freeze. Okay, freeze. And then you also have some, if you scroll down, um, you know, that you want to select, you can do those. And um, they're a dollar. And then at the end, when you actually get ready to download your image, then you will pay one dollar. Okay, for your image. Um, and it belongs to you. Okay, so I really do love. Uh, Canva if you wanted to upload anything to your page or to your image you could upload something so you know maybe I would upload this maybe change my background a little bit um, you know you can do anything you know and uh, actually this works out perfectly because guess what Boss Chick Academy is coming soon all right stay tuned and so that's my image <laughs> so it just really works like that you can create any image you want I create a lot of different images for my businesses and um, really love Canva can't say that enough and then you just click download here PNG recommended download um, and then you can also do a transparent background if you want so and then you'll also have all of these in a library so you can actually um, go back and uh, check them out and save them. and that's pretty much how Canva works if you'd like to learn more about me and what I do to make money online you can check me out at Lisa Mason on Facebook um, and you can also check me out at my blog asklisamesa.com if you'd like to join my inner circle to see how I make money um, just scroll down. There's a link to get into my Facebook group. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.